Hey, welcome back to Fueled by Plants. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly the right steps, the top three steps on how to start your vegan journey the right way. So when it comes to going plant-based and going vegan, there are some things that you want to have in place before you take that leap, right? Because the reason why is because a lot of people go vegan and they go plant-based and they do it the wrong way. And most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, they revert back to old eating habits. They revert back to eating fish. They revert back to eating meat. They revert back to going to dairy and all of these things because they didn't do it the right way. They didn't take the time to follow these three steps that I'm about to give you right now. Right. So that's why it's important, because if you want to really improve your health and improve your life and improve your nutrition habits by going plant based, you definitely want to do it the right way, opposed to taking two steps forward and four steps back. Right. Number one. You want to make sure you're getting the right type of supplementation. All right. You have to do this. This is number one step before you do anything. All right. Me personally, when I first went vegan, I did it the wrong way. Why? Because I didn't know about the right supplements. I didn't know about B12. I didn't know about these things. And I did it the wrong way. And I didn't revert back to old eating habits because I went vegan for the animals. But I had a bad time. For about a month, two months, or three months, I was very fatigued. I was very um, low energy. I talk about it in one of my earlier videos on the channel. Um, and I went over the reasons why, and I went over exactly how I fixed it, all right? So number one is making sure you're getting enough B12, all right? Making sure you're getting enough omega-3 fatty acids. Making sure you're getting enough iron. Iron is super, super important because a lot of iron on a traditional American um, standard American diet comes from red meat but we all know that you can get iron from plant substances and plant sources all right so you want to make sure you're getting those three type of supplements and you will be able to transition the right way number two you want to make sure you don't eat too clean you want to make sure you have a good balanced diet what do I mean by that most people that transition into a, a, a plant-based diet, they don't know exactly what to eat or how much to eat or even when to eat for that matter. But for this specific um, um, topic, I want to talk about exactly what to eat because most people try, oh, I want to, they, they start eating salads all the time. They start eating a bunch of rice. They start um, eating a whole bunch of carbs and they don't know exactly what to eat. What you want to do, you want to eat a wide range of plant-based foods, a wide range of plant-based foods. You want to make sure you're getting enough protein, make sure you're getting enough carbs, not too high in carbs. And also you want to make sure you're getting enough healthy fats and one rule of measure eat the rainbow all right make sure you're eating every color out there from the greens to the reds to the oranges to the blues sound like i'm about to start singing a song or something to the orange to the blues to the whites to the pinks all right you want to make sure that you're eating a wide range of food and if you do that you can make sure you're getting all the right nutrients you can make sure you're getting all the right vitamins. You can make sure you're getting all the right minerals, okay? And you don't have to worry about being fatigued, being low energy, or feeling hungry all the time. That's the worst feeling in the world, okay? And that will make you want to go back to eating animal products. But if you follow that, you won't feel that and you will be able to um, sustain a plant-based diet. And number three, and this one might come as a shock and surprise and you probably wasn't thinking about this one. But also you wanna make sure you know how to read the backs of food labels, all right? Make sure you know how to read the ingredients on the food packaging, all right? I made this crucial mistake because when I first went plant-based, what I did was I wasn't reading the foods. I wasn't reading the packages. I wasn't reading those things and I would get super, super frustrated when I ate something that wasn't vegan. And I just got super mad and I would beat myself up for hours and days on end. So if you want to avoid that, 
and have a much more um, happier experience in the beginning, you want to make sure you know how to read these packages, know how to avoid the uh, uh, the dairy, know what these different uh, uh, chemicals and different things mean. For a good rule of thumb, don't buy anything if you don't understand at least three or four of the ingredients on there. It's a very good rule of thumb, and if you do that, you'll have a much better experience. Um, to be honest, I remember one time I went to uh, went to the store and I bought something, and I got home and it had dairy in it. And I was so mad because I took a bite, right? But here's the truth: if you follow these steps, you will have a much better time on a plant-based diet, and you'll be able to thrive and be happier. Okay? What I want you to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to next time, fuel yourself. Don't fool yourself. Peace out. Hey, if you're a vegan and you're struggling to actually lose weight, build muscle, tone up, and become the healthiest version of yourself, I want you to click the link below right now, schedule a free consultation call with me, and on that call we can go over your goals and a bulletproof plan to actually get you to your goals. All right? So go ahead and click that link below, y'all. Talk soon.